What is a panting rod? Well, it's not a sex toy. <laughs> it's not lewd. This is a sailing channel, for goodness sake. I'm going to tell you what a panting rod does, why it's important, compare it to a compression post or a deck tie down, and I'm going to tell you why it's called a panting rod. Hi, I'm Sailor Eric. If you're interested in sailing or boat maintenance, you've come to the right channel. I've owned a Pearson 424 catch for going on six years. And I've always wondered what this small diameter metal rod was doing sitting behind the mast on my keel stepped mast. And this year I decided, I wanna know what the heck this thing is. So I started looking into it and realized that there was not a lot of information. It, it took effort <laughs> to really figure out what this thing is for. So I wanted to share that with you. I hope maybe you find some value in understanding what a panting rod does. If I did get something wrong, please comment. Or if you just would like to provide extra insight, I'd be happy to hear your thoughts. This post is meant to reinforce the deck and hold it down relative to the space between the deck and the keel. You might ask what force would cause the deck to rise, and that is where the meat of this discussion is going to be. The mast and rigging are designed to transfer aerodynamic force from the wind caught through the sails and transfer it into hydrodynamic force that moves the sailboat through the water in the desired direction. In transferring these forces, the wires attached to the hull, the rigging, is attached to the chain plates along the sides of the hull. They tend to get pulled upward, while the mast is likely to transfer forces downward under the load. Deck stepped masts often need structural support under the deck, which is the function of compression posts. The compression post would absorb the downward forces on the mast and prevent the deck from being damaged or failing under these forces. A keel step sailboat like Silver Heels is more solid and the downward forces on the mast bypass the deck entirely and is transferred down into the keel. The mast comes straight down and is mounted down into the keel. And uh, there's more structure and support there. Those upward forces on the standing rigging tend to pull the hull toward itself as the downward pressure is exerted on the center mast. These forces combine and put lateral pressure on the deck and might cause it to buckle if not for the panting rod. The scenario is all good in theory, you can kind of get your head around it, but it doesn't cover everything entirely. It's not often that wind will just happen in isolation. When wind increases, so does sea state, and that in turn subjects the sailboat to increased involuntary movement in the form of pitching, rolling, yawing, and heeling. This extra movement means that the wind forces are not exerted with a continual force, but can instead be exerted in an oscillating manner. The boat can roll or pitch in ways that decrease tension on the rig, and then the boat would then right itself to a position that re-exerts the load. This pumping of load back and forth as the boat pitches and rolls in heavy seas can cause increased structural strain on the sailboat and might be described as the sailboat breathing or panting as the load is exerted and eased. In addition, higher wind coming across the mass can create oscillating low pressure areas or eddies immediately behind the mast, which can cause the mast to shake or vibrate. This creates similar strain as described earlier, but at a faster pace and might also be a condition to what has been described as mass panting. Thus, the name of this structural component, the panting rod, is meant to anticipate these sorts of conditions and add structural support so that the deck is reinforced and keeps from buckling upward under the lateral pressure the hole can exert, especially when experiencing oscillating conditions. Deck tie-downs are used for the same purpose as a panting rod to hold the deck down when the hull is compressed by high tension on the rigging on a keel step sailboat. It's not clear to me, 
but it seems that a panting rod is basically a form of a deck tie down, but it's specifically configured like what you see here. Well, I suspect deck tie downs come in other forms or other configurations, maybe even other materials. Please comment if you can provide insight. So you will now recognize and understand the context when a fellow sailor asks you to go below and check the strain on the panting rod. However, if someone asks you to go to the bedroom and grab the panting rod from the bottom dresser drawer, well, that might be a different kind of panting rod. I hope you found this information useful. If you're still watching, please consider hitting that like button. Uh, hitting the like button will uh, allow the YouTube algorithm to serve up this video to other people that might like this information. I want to thank my current subscribers. I really appreciate your support. This is Sailor Eric. Thanks for watching.